You may be seated. Our confession is prompted by Lamentations chapter 1, verses 1 to 3 and verse 8. In it we read these words, and although they come from a different time and a different situation, the words resonate in a lot of ways with our situation now. How deserted lies the city, once so full of people. How like a widow is she who once was great among the nations. She who was queen among the provinces has now become a slave. Bitterly she weeps at night. Tears are on her cheeks. Among all her lovers there is none to comfort her. All her friends have betrayed her. They have become her enemies. After affliction and hard, harsh labor, Judah has gone into exile. She dwells among the nations. She finds no resting place. All who pursue her have overtaken her in the midst of her distress. Jerusalem has sinned greatly, and so has become unclean. All who honored her despise her, for they have seen her nakedness. She herself groans and turns away. Now this passage, I don't mean to imply this passage, says that COVID-19 is Uh, and all its effects on our cities is a result of the direct sin of any one people or nation. But it is very clear in Scripture that, that sin among its consequences includes disease and death and suffering. And certainly there is suffering right now in so many different ways let us come before the Lord in confessional prayer oh God we confess that we like Isaiah are people of unclean lips from a nation of unclean people. Lord, we have carried sin with us from generation to generation for thousands of years. And in spite of all your work among us, all your All your efforts through Jesus and through the prophets before you, nonetheless, it still seems as though this world is steeped in sin. Though we do not point to natural disasters and say without a prophetic word from you that this is because of that or the other thing or whatever, Nonetheless, we know that all of creation is groaning as with the pangs of childbirth. And that much of the groaning of this world is a result of our sin, O God. Lord, just like Judah and just like Jerusalem, we have sinned greatly. We live in a society that is greedy and gathers wealth from all corners of the earth without regard for the consequences to people who are oppressed or impoverished. We steal from your creation without concern for the consequences for your creatures and your plants. Lord, we hate 
one another and call it righteousness. We divide and call it discernment. God, even your your faith that you started by teaching your disciples so long ago and the faith that goes even before that when you made your promises to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Even that faith as with the people of Israel, with us too, it has so often corrupted. And we have so often taken on the ideas of this world as if they were our own. Lord God, please forgive us. Forgive us for our sins. Have mercy on this world, O God. Lord, we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Our word of assurance comes from Psalm 66, verse 20. For... The good news of the gospel is that it never ends in darkness. It never ends in despair. It never ends in hopelessness. This is what the psalmist says, and it is a cry that rings out for Christ followers throughout the ages. Praise be to God, who has not rejected my prayer or withheld his love from me. Jesus, our Lord and Savior, is the greatest example of that, of course. He did not reject our prayer. He did not withhold His love for us. Instead, He gave His everything for love for us. And of course, not just us sitting here today, but us as in all of humanity. His love extends to us all and to the creation itself. Let us continue our praise together this morning. I would invite you, if you're comfortable, uh, to stand um, and and hum along or sing very quietly with uh, the old rugged cross.